loved ones. I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Are you considering selling your home and don't know where to start? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market and he's proven it as number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Phone Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams at 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. When you've been in a wreck, you're hurting, you're confused, the insurance company is calling you. Insurance companies are not your friend. They have a duty to their shareholders, not to you. That's why you need to call us to make sure that you are maximizing what you are entitled to. We've recovered over $100 million for our clients. Every case is different, no result is guaranteed. But one thing's for sure, we'll treat you like family. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. It's time for the excitement of Division II College Basketball featuring the Shepherd University Rams. Today's contest is brought to you by Smallwood and Small Insurance Group. Contact them today at 304-263-3361. Chris Ross of the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Contact them today at callchrisross.com. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. Contact them at suttonandjanelle.com or visit their offices at 224 West King Street in Martinsburg. Orsini's Home Store, not just an appliance store any longer. They're at 360 Hack Wilson Way in Martinsburg or go to Orsini's.com. The Marius Group of Financial Advisors. Call them at 304-263-4343. The Palace Lounge off Edwin Miller Boulevard. Go to their Facebook page for their full menu. And the Mansion Ferretti Law Firm. Go to WVJusticeLawyers.com. Now let's send it out to the Butcher Athletic Center on the campus of Shepherd University and join our TV10 broadcast crew for today's contest. We welcome you back to Shepherd University as we get you set for Shippensburg and Shepherd in a PSAC Division Eastern Division matchup in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Nick Virgilino alongside me is Spencer Dupuy. And Avery Newport on camera. Colin McLaughlin back in the studio on the Johnny's Express tip-off show. Johnny's has all of your game day food and drink needs. And if you need a way to serve it all up, they got you covered. That's Johnny's Express located at 1456 Winchester Avenue in Martinsburg. And Spencer, as we uh, kind of look at this matchup, uh, the Rams going to the postseason. In boys and men's basketball, and Shippensburg a 17 and 8 squad. Both teams are headed to the postseason, 14 and 6 in conference. Um, so, kind of like the first game we had in the women's side. It's an important game for both teams. The men want to kind of build on some things uh, heading into the tournament, just like we saw in that first game. Yeah, the, they definitely do, Nick. And uh, you know, when you look at uh, They definitely do, Nick. And when you look at you look at the numbers on, on the season, I don't know what was up with my mic input there, uh, but it's been fixed, obviously. Uh, you know, the Shepherd team has the pieces. You know, just without Daniel McLean Corley, haven't been able to kind of go over the bubble. Haven't been able to burst the bubble that they want to burst. Yeah, led by Kyle Daggett right now on the year. Uh, he's been their guy. And really, since we don't have much time at all, Spencer, let's just go ahead and throw it to Avery with uh, 
head coach Justin Namely because I'm sure people want to hear from him and hear what he has to say and obviously Avery put in that work we want to hear what coach Namely has to say so let's go to our coaches interviews and go to Avery with Sheppard basketball head coach Justin Amelik. You guys have a big game tonight against Shippensburg, a PSAC rival of yours. What are you expecting to see from them tonight? I mean, they're a good basketball team. They're very good defensively. They're efficient offensively. Um, it's going to be curious to see how they guard our ball screens. They guard them every which way. We've seen it. So we're going to have to really adjust early, like how they're defending us on the ball screens. We're we'll going to have to figure it out real quick. Now, both of you guys have clinched berths in the PAC, in the PSAC tournament next week. So what does this game mean to you in terms of building momentum for the tournament next week? I mean, obviously, it's like we try to win every game. But, you know, the one thing we've been talking about is we really want to send our seniors out on a high note. You know, we got the win on Monday. Try to get the win today. Um, you know, carry that momentum to Saturday at Mansfield and try to just finish off the season strong for our seniors and have some momentum for the tournament. Absolutely. Now let's talk about Philip Jordan. He's really emerged as a top scoring option on this team since Danny McLean Corley has been out with injury. Can you just tell me a little bit about how he's played so far these last couple of games for you? I mean, he's been playing great. It's, it's just it's hard to think about because of how much time he missed at the beginning of the year. I mean, he missed six weeks with an ankle injury. Then we had some COVID issues with him. So, I mean, he, he's starting to hit his stride now, you know, and he's doing what we expected him to do, and it's just kind of disheartening to think that how much time he missed at the beginning of the year, um, how that would have helped us so much. But can't dwell on that too long. You know, he's playing really well. Um, he's just going to keep on getting better. Let's talk about Kyle Daggett, too. Of course, he's a senior. He's meant so much to this program over the years. You had your senior night on Monday against Bloomsburg, but this is his last home game here at the Butcher Center. Talk to me a little bit about how he's had an impact on this program over the last four years. I mean, Kyle is an unbelievable worker. He's an unbelievable leader by example. Uh, you know, you would have told me four years ago he'd be having this season and he's having now. I wouldn't have believed it. And that's just a tribute to how much work he's put in, uh, his coachability. His desire to get better, uh, you know, he's embraced everything with our program. It's crazy when you think back, you know, when he was a freshman, we had A.J. Carr who really took him under his wing and really helped him. And now his, as, as he's a senior, he's doing the same for our freshman, Carson Poffenberger and Aiden Hughley. You know, that's just one of the things about we try to stress in our program as a senior. It's not only just the production on the court, but how you leave your legacy as a leader. Uh, how you help the young guys come along, and he's been very instrumental in that. We're going to miss him dearly. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thanks, man. So good stuff from head coach of the Shepherd Rams, Justin Namalik. Our coach's interview brought to you by Orsini's Home Store, not just an appliance store any longer. They're located at 360 Hack Wilson Way in Martinsburg or online at Orsini's.com. And let's take a quick one-minute break, and on the other side of that break, we'll get Spencer's keys to the game and take a little bit of a look at Shippensburg. This is PSAC men's basketball on TV Tech. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard. You've been in an accident. A distracted driver put texting over safety. Your injuries, loss of income, and medical bills can last a long time, even a lifetime. Our job is to try and secure justice that will protect you and your family for the rest of your life. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. We welcome you back to Shepherd University at the Butcher Center. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuy. Let's get into our keys to the game and players to look out for. Brought to you by CMA Honda of Winchester, located at 3985 Valley Pike. CMA moving lives forward. Spencer, let's start with the Rams and then uh, move over to Shippensburg. I think for the Rams, you got to continue kind of 
your momentum from last game. Got a big 88-76 win here on Monday night for senior night. And, you know, your seniors uh, just kind of works, uh, played extremely well in that game. Kyle Daggett, 24 points, uh, 7 rebounds. And then Cam Stevens, 15 points, 9 assists. And then, you know, your sophomore guard in there, Philip Jordan, just playing out of his mind as a sophomore, 19 points. I think you got to continue that momentum into this game. And uh, for Shippensburg, I, I think you just kind of try to ride the hot hand of Jake Bliss. He scored 36 points in their win over Mansfield um, Monday in their 94-82 win over Mansfield. you got to ride the hot hand, but you also got to know that you've got more scoring options on your team, and, and you know that. And for players to keep an eye out for, obviously for Shepard, it's got to be the senior Kyle Daggett just completely put the team on his back this season. And for Shippensburg, not Jake Bliss, but it's going to be Rashawn Johnson because he can do it not only scoring, he averages 15.6, he averages 7.7 boards a game to go along with over a steal a game. All right, let's take a minute and a half break, Colin, and then send it back here for tip-off and starting lineups. This is Shepard Rams basketball on TV Tech. Hi, this is Lauren from Orsini's right here in Martinsburg. Grilling is not just for the boys. We are a platinum Traeger dealer carrying the Pro Series all the way up to the Timberline Series. We have every flavor of wood pellets along with accessories, rubs, sauces, not just Traeger. We carry Utz, Meat Church, Lanes, and Dizzy Pig. We also carry a full line of Yeti products. Orsini's has everything to complete your backyard. Visit us at 360 Hack Wilson Way or at Orsini's.com. When you've been in a wreck, you're hurting, you're confused, the insurance company's calling you. Insurance companies are not your friend. They have a duty to their shareholders, not to you. That's why you need to call us to make sure that you are maximizing what you are entitled to. We've recovered over $100 million for our clients. Every case is different, no result is guaranteed. But one thing's for sure, we'll treat you like family. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. We welcome you back to the Butcher's Center on the campus of Shepherd University. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuy. We'll give you the starters. Start first with the Shippensburg Raiders. They'll be number one, a redshirt sophomore from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Rashawn Johnson. Number three, a junior from Indiana, Pennsylvania, Carlos Carter. Number five, a redshirt junior from McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania. Dom Sleva, and then number 11 from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, Jake Bliss, and then rounding out the lineup, number 44, a senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Keon Hardy. And then for the Shepherd Rams, it will be Philip Jordan starting as usual. And then uh, Cam Stevens in the backcourt, Kyle Daggett. And trying to identify the other starters for you in just a minute. Looks like John Preston is starting along with Aiden Hughley, the York Suburban High School guy. You got, York guys, you got York people all over both these teams. Yeah, right? Suburban was another school that we used to play uh, in our division. Never played against Hughley, though. He's a little too young for my basketball career. As our starting lineups are brought to you by Modern Renovations, West Virginia homeowners trust the experts in Modern Renovations for roofing. Call them at 304-564-6317 to schedule your free estimate or visit MyModernRenovations.com. As that shot knocked down by Bliss to get uh, Shippensburg on the board first. Our opening tip-off brought to you by Hagerstown Ford, revolutionizing the car buying experience. Buy your next vehicle online. They'll deliver it to you, and if you don't like it, they'll take it back. 
Go to HagerstownFord.com. And our first shot of the game brought to you by the Berkeley County Health Department. Prevent, promote, protect. They're at 122 Waverly Court in Martinsburg. Call 304-263-5131. So now it's Shepard basketball. Kyle Daggett inbounding in front of the scores table. Phillip Jordan receives the ball in the backcourt. Jordan brings it across half court. Comes off the Hughley screen. Now back to the top of the key to Hughley over to Preston. Jordan now with it on the top of the key. Philip Jordan drives in. Step back over to Daggett in the corner. Head fake. Daggett loses it off his foot. Jordan launches with one on the shot clock, and it's an air ball. It will be a shot clock violation for the Rams. And a turnover. You don't want that here. It's an early start shot clock violation this early on. And not your best first possession at all, Spencer, as Johnson with it at the top of the key over to Bliss. Now back to Biss. Biss tries a three, and that's money. Biss off to a great start. Five points for him. Five nothing. Shippensburg on top. Jordan now with the basketball. Drilling at the volleyball line. Comes off the Daggett screen. That's Kyle Daggett at the top of the key over to Cam Stevens. Stevens down low to Aiden, Aiden Hughley. Hughley trying to work in the post and works his way for a layup up and in to get the Rams on the board for the first time tonight at 5-2, 18-24 to go in this first half. Yeah, great job by Hughley there to get the ball in the net and knock it down 5 nothing. Fist with a long triple. The Latrobe, Pennsylvania native, knocks it down. He's got all eight points for Shippensburg. Stevens drives in, kicks it out to Daggett, who drives and now finds Jordan. Jordan dribbles in with the left hand. Full of Jordan going to the post. Works his way up strong and draws a foul on Hardy. So Phil Jordan to the free throw line, a guy that, as Avery mentioned in the interview with head coach Justin Amalek, and, and we've seen uh, just continue to develop. And unfortunately, he had that injury at the beginning of the year as Jordan knocks down the free throw. I mean, if you could have him and Daniel McLean Corley in the backcourt with the way Kyle Daggett's played as well. As of late, Camp Stevens' ability to set up the offense. This would be a dangerous Shepherd team as they continue to get better. And Jordan knocking down both free throws to make it 8 4. Biss with the basketball. Over to Johnson. Now back to Biss who attacks. Sends it to the corner but turns it over. He wanted Hardy, but Keon. Hardy wasn't in the right place for him. Yeah, just miscommunication there causes the turnover. And this could be in Shepard's favor here if they're able to get a basket and make it a one-possession game. Jordan with the basketball off the Daggett screen. Hughley lines up a triple. And it comes up short. And Kyle Daggett is there with the offensive rebound and the putback finish. Eight to six now. Daggett with his first two points. Carter over to Hardy. Now to Johnson on the left wing. Johnson, nice bounce pass over to Hardy. Skip it to Carlos Carter. Carter lost the ball. Good defense by Cam Stevens. The Muscleman Grand crosses half court and brings it across the timeline. Now goes down to the low post. Stevens working underneath. Pump bacon blocked by Carter. This ahead to Johnson. Kicks it back to Hardy, top of the key, three, is in and out, no good. Daggett can't secure the board, but it was tipped underneath by Sleva and will be Shepard basketball. I think that was a lucky call there, Nick. I don't think Daggett expected for Shepard to have it. I'm not certain because Sleva seemed angry at himself for not grabbing the rebound, but I agree with you. It looked like from our angle at least that Kyle Daggett had touched it last. Down to Hughley, and Hughley lays it up and in with the left hand. Another guy that dealt with an injury early in the year, and he's a post player that Shepard could really use, and a good post move there to get this ball game tied now at 8 with 16 minutes to go in the first half. He's already got four points tonight. This over to Johnson. 
And now Johnson has his corner inside to Johnson. Johnson with the turnaround shot, and that is nothing but nut for him to give Schippensburg the lead back at 10 8. Philip Jordan now dribbling at the top of the key. Off the double screen from Hughley and Daggett. Now Daggett catches at the top over John Preston. Back to Daggett. Pump fakes. Hands it off to Jordan. 15.39 to go in the first half. 10-8 Shippensburg. Jordan with six on the shot clock. Top of the key. Hughley three. A pointer is money for Aiden Hughley. 11-10. Shepard on top. This brings it across over to Carter. Now back to Hardy. Back to Biss now on the right wing. Short porch working to Johnson. Hardy, extra pass to Sleva for three. That's in and out, no good. Rebounded by Preston. Preston ahead to Phillip Jordan. Under 15 to play in the first half. Shepard leading by one at 11 to 10. Jordan trying to post up on Hardy. Comes off the Daggett screen. Jordan attacks the basket. Goes up strong to the rim, but he traveled. And it will be Shippensburg basketball. When we return from this media timeout, let's take a 30-second break. This is Shepard basketball on TV 10. Are you considering selling your home and don't know where to start? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market, and he's proven it as number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Phone Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams at 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. To the Butcher Center, 11-10. Shepard leading Shippensburg, our first 10 minutes of the first half, presented to you on TV 10 by Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Buying or selling a home, call 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com and Smallwood and Small Insurance in Martinsburg, your total insurance solution located at 121 Administrative Drive. Call 304-263-3361. Nick Rosalino alongside me is Spencer Dupuy, Avery Newport on camera, Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. Good start for both of these teams. Both teams headed to the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference Tournament. Shippensburg 17-8 heading into this ball game. The Rams have been playing better as of late to secure either the fifth or sixth seed. And a win tonight would certainly help toward that fifth seed because Mansfield on Saturday, a team that struggled a lot, and Shepard beat here at home, but obviously you can't overlook them in yeah. a high-powered offense, as we've seen earlier this season. Shippensburg quickly moving it around the perimeter. Carter to Biss, now back to Hardy. Carter with it now, down low to Biss, who turns around, fade away, shot, and that is perfect. You can see why Biss is such a good scorer. This pure form regained the lead for the Raiders at 12-11. Just over 14 minutes to go in the first half. Cam Stevens off the Kyle Daggett screen and the Hughley screen. Now back out to Hughley in the high post. He'll go to Rourke. Pump fake. Hughley can't finish. Tipped to Carlos Carter who comes away with the basketball. Carter to Biss. Now back to Carter. 12-11. Shippensburg on top. First half. Carter a long triple. And Carlos Carter gets on the board with that three. Make it 15-11. Shippensburg. Five players averaging double figures for the Raiders. And we've seen that high-powered offense early on in this ballgame. Stevens off the Hughley screen. Stevens now attacks the defense over to Phillip Jordan. Hughley extra pass to Daggett in the corner. Back up top to Phillip Jordan, who resets the offense. Just five on the shot clock. Jordan has to attack. Good defense by Hardy. Jordan's tough shot. Doesn't quite get the bounce. Rebounded underneath by Sivwa. Driving in is Carter. Carter can't get the shot to go. And a 
Foul called on the floor. It will go against Kyle Daggett. His first and the team first foul. This inbounds on the baseline to Hardy. Carter, a three-pointer in and out, no good. Rebounded by Sleva. Now the high post. Johnson turned around, shot in and out, no good. Rebounded by Daggett. Rams get the ball back. Down by four with 12.35 to go in the first half. Kyle Daggett ripped through. Dribble handoff with Cam Stevens over to John Preston on the wing. Preston back to Daggett. Now, or now down low to Daggett. It was to Stevens. Daggett going to work. The senior lays it up and in with the left hand. 15-13. Shippensburg leading Shepard. Yeah, great job by Daggett there to find the back of the net. Or find the backboard in there. <laughs> well, eventually it kind of found the back of the net. The middle of the net. <laughs> How about that? That works. It tickled the twine. Sleva with the layup on the other end to make it 17-13. Raiders on top as we play now under 12 minutes to go in the first half. Stevens attacks the basket. Gets blocked by Carter. Rebounded by Hardy. He'll push. Hardy looking down court for Johnson with a one-handed slam. 19-13. Raiders on top. Cam Stevens dribbling in the NCAA logo. Stevens goes to the post. Comes off the double screen. Nearly turns it over, but a reach-in called on the Raiders. We'll go against Johnson. We have our second media timeout. 19-13. Shippensburg leading Shepard. We'll take another 30-second break. This is Shepard Rams basketball on CV10. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. We welcome you back to Shepherd University inside the Butcher Center. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuy. Avery Newport on camera this evening. And Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. A 19-13 lead for Shippensburg. 11-20 to play in this first half. And what's been a pretty quick moving first half. The two teams both pushing and attacking the basket. And Spencer, that's not really Shepard's style. And it will be important for the Rams to try to control the pace and, and slow Shippensburg down a little bit. Yeah, it, it definitely will. Definitely not the style you see Shepard uh, in so far. And, and, you know, right now it's kind of surprising. You thought before, you didn't think really before this game, Hughley would be the leading scorer so far at seven points. Yeah, he's played well. And a few subs coming in for the Rams. Carson Poffenberger, the freshman from Morgantown, along with Jared Robinson. Poffenberger on the top of the key. Now Robinson over to Cam Stevens. First the ball to Preston. Preston drives in with the right hand. No good on his shot. Gets his own rebound, but it goes out of bounds off of Preston despite his disagreements. It will be Shippensburg basketball. So Biss with the basketball for the Raiders. Over to Johnson. Biss comes off a screen, pulls up from the elbow, and Biss knocks it down again. He continues to go to work. 21 to 13. Shippensburg leading Shepard with 10:40 remaining in this first half. Stevens with the ball. 
off the Poffenberger screen and the Hughley screen. Driving in is Stevens. He head fakes in the lane. Shot is wild, no good. Rebounded by Hughley. His putback finish with the right hand is there, and it's 21-15. Hughley now up to nine, or excuse me, nine. I was going to say 19. I don't know why. Nine of the 15. Yeah. That would be impressive if he had 19 and Shepard only had 15. <laughs> Carter down low. Good shot underneath by Sleva. Definitely a hard one not to, to miss because you're right under the basket. Put it off the glass, and then you got to, if you're Shepard, you, you got to cover that man down there. Down low to Hughley. He gets double teamed. Now comes away from the double team. Can't get the turnaround shot to go, and the rebound is chased down by the Raiders. Johnson now finding Bliss. Now back to Johnson. Carter opposite side wing. Bliss a step in three, a long range triple, and it is nothing but net for Jake Biss. He just can't miss. Twenty six to fifteen. You know, I wanted to make him my player to keep an, uh, an eye out for, <laughs> and you were like, ah, he does. He just really scores. He doesn't really do anything else. Well, he's been doing a lot of scoring so far, Nick. That's all you really need, I guess. But hey, shouldn't listen to me, right? What do I know? Points. What do I know? Here with nine twenty five left in the first half, he's on pace for like. 60. <laughs> Dag it. Nice head fake. Three pointer to answer. Can't go. Rebounded. Hey, you're the analyst. You make the final decision. Don't blame me. Jerry Robinson grabbed the rebound. Philip Jordan now attacks the basket. Preston corner three, but a foul call before the shot went through on Philip Jordan. So a turnover for the Rams. Shippensburg gets the ball back. Leading by 11 at 26-15 with nine minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, and if you're Shepard, you you can't commit those fouls. You're already down 11. Could have only been down by eight. Biss swings it to Helm. Helm catches on the wing down low. Silva traveled before he put it on the ground, and it will be a turnover for Shippensburg. So Kyle Dang and will inbound. Shepard needing to get the offense going. 8.45 to go in the first half. Down 11 at 26 to 15. Philip Jordan off the Dangit screen. That's the reset. Jordan with the dribble handoff with Robinson. Robinson drives in. He'll go to the post. Robinson, head fakes, nearly lost his footing, now loses control of it. Good defense by Carlos Carter. Carter. Attacking on the other way over to Biss. Biss pulls up. Can he hit again? He will. Everything is a bucket for Jake Biss tonight in the Butcher Center. 17 points now. Yeah, 17 points now and 7 of 7 perfect right now. And a much needed timeout here. Yep. Coach taking a timeout with just over eight minutes to go in this first half. 28 15. Shippensburg on top. We'll take a 30 second break. This is Shepherd Basketball on TV 10. A reputation for caring, a legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning, or at your time of loss. We are here when you need us. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center. Our second 10 minutes of the first half is brought to you by Modern Renovations. West Virginia homeowners trust the experts of Modern Renovations for roofing. Call them at 304-564-6317 to schedule your free estimate or visit MyModernRenovations.com along with the Skinner Law Firm. Skinner Law Firm is injury and consumer rights lawyers Call them at 304-245-6613 or go online at SkinnerFirm.com. 28-15, Shippensburg on top out of the timeout. 8.05 to go in this first half. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuis. And Jake Biss can't miss. I rock. 
<laughs> I think we already knew it rhymed, too. I mean, it's pretty simple rhyme. Said it on the break. I did. But I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. Jordan with the ball on the inbound. Finds Cam Stevens, who comes off the Hughley screen. Stevens extra pass to Jordan in the corner. Back up top to Stevens. Stevens going to the post. Stevens head fake, turn around, no good. Rebounded by Sleva. Got to miss. Got to make those easy layups. Pull up three for Johnson is in and out. Sleva though crashes the boards. board. Got to get those defensive boards if you're Shepard. Downloaded Johnson, who can't get it to go, and there's a strong rebound by Robinson. There's a defensive board when you need one. Jordan now with the basketball on the left wing over to Robinson. Now back to the corner to Stevens. Stevens attacks, resets the offense over to Robinson. Robinson now going in with the left hand. Head fake in the lane and a nice hesitation move in the finish for Robinson to end a scoring drought for the Rams and make it 28-17 with seven minutes to go in the first half. Helm with it. Over to Biss. Biss back to Helm. Down low to Carter. Extra pass to Sleva who wasn't ready. barely got it underneath. Philip Jordan tips it away. Saves it for Kyle Daggett. Yeah, Daggett great save there. Finds the point guard Jordan. Now back to Daggett on the left wing. Ham's working around the perimeter. Robinson in the lane. Over to Daggett for three. Short. Well short off the side of the rim. Rebounded by the Raiders. Biss over to Carter. Seems like he's forcing too much here right now. Johnson. Pass out the helm for three. That is way off the mark. Sleva again with the offensive rebound, but he can't finish. And Robinson grabs it for the Rams. Again. Over to Stevens. Now Jordan a three wide open. And that is nothing. But net for Phillip Jordan. That's an eight-point ball game. Rams needed that right there. Under six to play in the first half. They call that a long two. I don't know if I agree, but. Over to Carter. Biss to Helm. Back to Carter now. Johnson in the corner for three. That's money. Sean Johnson, the Philadelphia native, makes it 31-19. Shippensburg leading Shepard. Robinson attacks again on the defense. Leva with the good help. D grabs the rebound. Biss back the other way. Shepard's really just leaving too many shots. Biss finally on misses the on the long triple. Heat check there. Camp Stevens with the basketball now for the Rams. Stevens, nice move, posting up on the smaller Biss and gets the shot to go. It's 31-21, Shippensburg leading Shepard. Rick Carter now left wing. 4.45 to go in the first half. Helm shot is short. Goes out of bounds, will be Shepard basketball. And you're, you know, really, if you're Shepard, you got to look at the shooting numbers so far. Um, just shooting 9 of 22 from the field and uh, 1 of 4 from beyond the arc. Well, Chippensburg is 5 of 12. Yeah, despite those numbers, though, the Rams only down by 10. It's still plenty of time to go in this first half. If you can close out the first half strong, you'll be in good in, into a good position. But Cam Stevens missing that three-pointer. Carter now with the basketball. Over to Hardy. Back to Carter. Biss on the wing. High post Johnson. Johnson, nice pass underneath to Sleva. He misses the reverse layup. And Robinson grabbing another rebound. Jordan sprinting down the court. Over to Robinson. Wide open for three. He got to have that one, but he couldn't make it. Good rebound, though. Preston underneath. Stevens now back to Daggett. He has position, and Daggett kisses it off the glass with the left hand. Gets the finish, 31-23. Under four minutes to go in the first half. Timeout, Shippensburg, 31-23 our score. We'll take a 30-second break with 3.45 to go in the first half.
Avery Newport. Avery Newport at halftime. Can you do me a big favor? Can you? When you've been in a wreck, you're hurting, you're confused, the insurance company's calling you. Insurance companies are not your friend. They have a duty to their shareholders, not to you. That's why you need to call us to make sure that you are maximizing what you are entitled to. We've recovered over $100 million for our clients. Every case is different, no result is guaranteed. But one thing's for sure, we'll treat you like family. Shepard, Nick Verzellini, alongside me, Spencer Dupuy, Avery Newport on the camera, <laughs> and Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. I've never heard you pronounce center like that. I don't know. Just adding a little flair to it. The butcher center. Center. But Shippensburg 31, Shepard 23, 345 to go in the first half. And Spencer and the Rams are still... You know, within striking distance, despite some really good shooting on the Shippensburg side and not so great shooting for Shepard, but a few offensive rebounds allowing some extra opportunities in the Rams keeping themselves in this ball game. Biss will bring it up for the Raiders. Over to Hardy, now Johnson on the left wing. Johnson back to Biss. Swing it to the corner. Carter now with it. Hardy. Carter. Biss. Carter. <laughs> Thought of the key. Back to Biss. Fade away. Elbow. Good. Biss with the fadeaways have been deadly. I mean, against he's the like unstoppable. Was that 19 now for him yeah. in the first half? Yeah. 19 of the 33 to lead Take the Raiders. Him away and you're winning the game if you're Shepard. Dang it. To Robinson. Robinson pulls up short on the shot. Rebounded by Sleva again. And this is not a Shippensburg team, too, that uses a lot of the bench. I mean, we see these five guys for the most part on the floor. And. and they are well conditioned. Johnson attacks. Johnson step back. Mid range is short and rolls out of bounds. So Shepard basketball with 2:29 to go in the first half. Philip Jordan will bring it across for the Rams. Needs something to go and to get a rally going for Shepard. Down by 10, right before halftime. Robinson over to Jordan in the corner. Jordan penetrates, now resets, drives in, over to Robinson. Robinson pulls up for three, short, rebounded by Kyle Daggett. Daggett's put back, it's no good, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, and great job by Daggett to be able to get that board to begin with, getting that position in there, and uh, ultimately here going to the free throw line. Kyle Daggett now with his typical scoring night so far, but... You get him going underneath, and that could really help Shepard as he misses that free throw now. Hardy checking out for Shippensburg. Yeah, Daggett averaging 17.3 a ball game, and he's at six right now. Michael Dunn checking in. Second free throw is good by Kyle Daggett. 33-24, two minutes to go in the first half. Biss over to Dunn. Now back to Carter. Carter to the Johnson and the Peace Sack logo. High post Carter. Step back on the way. Good. Carlos Carter playing well tonight. Make it 35 24, Shippensburg. Jordan with the basketball. Shippensburg remaining in the man to man defense. Guarding Jordan is Sleva over to Preston. Preston a long three and air ball. And it's out of bounds. Will be Shippensburg ball with 125 to go in the first half. Yeah, and if you're Shepard, you just need to put up some good defense and just, you know, try to finish out this half in a positive light. This over to Dunn. Now Carter, right wing. We'll work it around the perimeter. This off of the Johnson screen. High post, Silva. Sleva now over to 
Johnson back to Carter and Biss with it in his hands. Four seconds on the shot clock. He bakes it in. All right. Can we just call this game over at this point? <laughs> Jake Biss. He's already got 23 points for 22. With the fadeaway, and the bank is even working for that guy. And it's 8.30 at night, Nick. The bank is supposed to be closed, but not for Jake Biss, not who can't not. miss. That's his nickname, can't miss Biss. Kyle Daggett driving in with the right hand. No good. Rebounded underneath by Johnson. Biss with the ball in his hands. About a second difference between game clock and shot clock. So Biss will hold for what could be the final shot of the first half. And you want the ball in his hands based on how he's played 22 points to lead Shippensburg in this first half and only, I think, one miss from the floor. Biss, a wall on three. Just short, rebounded by Daggett. Daggett, three seconds ahead to Jordan. Jordan at the buzzer. Way off, no good. And we head to halftime with Shippensburg leading Shepard 38-24. to We'll take a two-minute break and have the Mansion Freddy halftime show. This is Shepard Men's Basketball on TV10 and WRNR-TV on YouTube. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Are you considering selling your home and don't know where to start? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market and he's proven it as number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Phone Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams at 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. Hi, this is Lauren from Orsini's right here in Martinsburg. Grilling is not just for the boys. We are a Platinum Traeger dealer carrying the Pro Series all the way up to the Timberline Series. We have every flavor of wood pellets along with accessories, rubs, sauces, not just Traeger, we carry Utz, Meat Church, Lanes, and Dizzy Pig. We also carry a full line of Yeti products. Orsini's has everything to complete your backyard. Visit us at 360 Hack Wilson Way or at Orsini's.com. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center on the campus of Shepherd University. Nick Verzellini alongside me, Spencer Dupuy for the Manchester Freddy Halftime Show. Manchester Freddy Law Firm in Martinsburg, where it's about seeking justice for you. Go to WVJusticeLawyers.com. Now you're in the camera shot, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. I you weren't before. It. Uh, but at the half, Shippensburg leading Shepherd 38 to 24. And Spencer, you want to run down those stats for us? as uh, the Raiders having a potentially historic performance out of uh, Biss, Jake Biss. Yeah, can't miss Biss. 22 points on pace for 44 points tonight. Uh, 9 of 11 from the field for him, 4 or 6 from beyond the arc. Uh, 7 points from Rashawn Johnson, my player to keep an eye out for. 3 of 7 from the field, 1 of 2 from beyond the arc. 2 boards, 1 assist, uh, and uh, five points for Carter. He's uh, two of three from the field, two rebounds, four assists, one block, one steal. Uh, four points there from Sleva. And uh, that does the, that rounds out the scoring here for Shippensburg. Now looking at uh, Shepard leading the way is Hewley, who kind of unexpectedly leading the way. You don't usually see him as one of the leaders on this team, uh, but could become turning into one, which is always a good sign to see. Uh, he has nine points, four of seven from the field, one rebound, 
And uh, Daggett right behind him with seven points, three of six from the field, 0 of two from beyond the arc, uh, four boards, two on both ends, one assist, and uh, four points for Philip Jordan, one of three from the field, two of two from the cherry stripe, one assist, one steal, and uh, two points from Stevens and Robinson. Uh, Robinson with five boards so far, and Stevens with one steal. Yes, yeah, so at the half, as we mentioned, Shippensburg leading 38-24. to 24. Uh, Some team stats for you in this first half. The Raiders shooting 55% as a team from the floor, 6 of 14 from three, which is 42%. Shepard shooting just 34.5% from the floor, 10 of 29, and 1 of 8 from three. So we will take a two-minute break on the other side of that break. You'll hear from Colin McLaughlin back in the studio, and he'll have the N1 scoreboard show, and then he'll send it back to us. And we'll continue to break down this one and get you set for the second half. This is Shepard Men's Basketball on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. A reputation for caring, a legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning, or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services, Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. You've been in an accident. A distracted driver put texting over safety. Your injuries, loss of income, and medical bills can last a long time, even a lifetime. Our job is to try and secure justice that will protect you and your family for the rest of your life. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Are you considering selling your home and don't know where to start? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market, and he's proven it as number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Phone Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams at 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. Welcome into the And One Halftime Scoreboard Show on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Colin McLaughlin here is your Halftime Scoreboard Show brought to you by Helm Helpers Home Care of Martinsburg. Serving the tri-state area, giving care the way you want to be cared for. Learn more by calling 304-433-8000. We're at the half between Shippensburg and Shepard, and it's the Raiders on top of the Rams, 38-24. to Let's look at some other scores from around the PSAG at the half, 62-51, East Stroudsburg leads Mansfield. Number 17, Mercyhurst trails Cal U in 15 minutes to go in the second half. It's 55-33, 49-47, Bloomsburg on top of Kutztown. At halftime, Westchester 34, Millersville 48. The second half just underway between Pitt Johnstown and Seton Hill. Pitt Johnstown leads 38-32. Halftime. Slippery Rock on top of Edinburgh. It is 39-35 in that one. And the last one, IUP against Clarion. Ten minutes to go in the second half. 66-48. IUP on top of Clarion. WVU currently going on as well in men's college basketball. The Mountaineers currently beating the Iowa State Cyclones 54-48 with 13 minutes to go in the second half. Also, in the second quarter, the West Virginia Mountaineers women's basketball team going on right now. It's 35-18. The Mountaineers lead Texas Tech. Your women's scores from the PSAC earlier today that went final. 
Westchester got the 73-53 win over Millersville. Edinburgh got the 77-66 win over Slippery Rock. Pitt Johnstown defeated Seton Hill 70-63. Shepard beat Shippensburg 79-73. East Strasburg beat Lockhaven 59-56 in overtime. Cutsdown defeated Bloomsburg 64-43. IUP destroyed Clarion 92-41. And Cal U beat Mercyhurst 75 -56. 54. Some NCAA Division I Top 25 Men's College Basketball scores. Number 7, Duke, leads Virginia 49-44. Number 11, Providence, currently trails Xavier 50-48. TCU leads number 20, Texas 48-41. Number 14, Houston, currently beating Tulane 19-17. That's your scores here on the And One Halftime Scoreboard Show when... We return after this two-minute break. It'll be Spencer and Nick back for you, giving you half number two between Shippensburg and Shepard. If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are going to investigate your case and we're going to lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. That's what we mean by treating you like family. Hi, I'm Annette McDonald, and I am the designer at Orsini's in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We welcome you into our store to show you a complete line of what we do here. We design your cabinetry, quartz countertops, granite countertops, hardware, anything for the full remodel of your kitchen and your home needs. We also do bathrooms, and we have flooring available too. We make sure that your project with Orsini's is the best in the market. Welcome to Orsini's. Orsini's.com. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Mill. Boulevard. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a newer used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center on the campus of Shepherd University. Shippensburg leading Shepherd here at the half, 38-24, just about two minutes to go until the second half begins. And Verzellini and Spencer Dupuis here at the Butcher Center and if you're Newport on camera, along with Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. Colin with the uh, scoreboard update for you at the half. Getting you updated on some high school games, I'm sure, going on around the Mound State. I know we I had. I know he's a happy guy right now. Do you know why? Why is that? 
because West Virginia is leading with 12-12 to go in the ball game by 7:56-49. There's still plenty of time. They were leading by 10 at the half, 41-31. But that would be a good win for the Mountaineers, and obviously we had a big EPAC game tonight, cross section between Jefferson and Spring Mills. Yeah, uh, Jefferson on top, 43-34 as we speak, with about seven minutes left in the ball game. That's good then for Spring Mills. Spring Mills was leading, at, I believe, 18 to 17 at one point. As Spring Mills needs some momentum heading into sanction play, and what it will be, as we know, a very competitive sectional tournament with those three teams over there in Martinsburg, uh, Hedgesville, and Spring Mills. So. We got a uh, decent game going on here. Shippensburg on top by 14, 38 24 as we begin this second half and the first part of this second half. Brought to you by Kelly Allstate Insurance. For all of your insurance needs, call Gary Kelly at 304 263 4596 or stop by 724 Lakeview Drive in Martinsburg along with. Orsini's Home Store. Orsini's is not just an appliance store any longer. They're located at 360 Hackleson Way in Martinsburg or online at Orsini's.com. They also have cabinets and designer bedding, Nick. Thanks for adding that in there. <laughs> Sorry, I read it every day. <laughs> as far as you're still not talking about your Yeti that you got from them. They do all have Yetis there, too. So if you want Yetis, go to Orsini's. Hackleson Way, Martinsburg. Cam Stevens. Aiden Hughley with it in the high post. Hughley posting up. Now to Preston. Preston attacks, kicks it out to Hughley. Eight on the shot clock. Rams not really having much success on this possession and get bailed out by a foul on Shippensburg. This time is winding down, but now the shot clock will reset to 20. And Shepard wasn't very active to begin that possession. Hugely over to Kyle Daggett, still on that right wing. Stevens, head faking, driving in with the left hand. Shot comes up short, rebounded by the Raiders. Slava coming away with that rebound. Slava over to Hardy, now to Carter. Into the corner, Johnson, palm fake. Pull up for the mid-range, and he got it. Yeah, yeah it did go. <laughs> I saw Sleva grab it like it was a missed shot, but it was through the basket. 40-24. Shippensburg extending the lead to 16. The Rams need some offense. Philip Jordan with the basketball. Off the Hughley screen. Jordan a long three from the top of the key. No good. Rebounded by Johnson. Ahead to Biss. Biss to Carter. Carter in the corner to Hardy. Hardy attacks, loses the ball, gets fouled, and will be underneath for Shippensburg. Foul called on Phillip Jordan, the first foul in the second half against the Rams, the second foul on Phillip Jordan in the ball game. Nice cut by Carter, and he'll lay it up and in, 42-24. Yeah, an 18 point Carter. ball game, almost a 20 point ball game here, and you can't leave that wide open lane to the basket. Cam Stevens now on the right wing off the Hughley screen. Stevens dribbling at the elbow over to Jordan. Jordan pulls up for three. That is short, no good. Sleva grabs the rebound over to Biss. Biss missing just two shots in that first half. Finds a cutting. Johnson, who will lay it up and in. 44 24. Shippensburg by 20 over the Shepherd Rams. Cam Stevens now with the basketball. Stevens off the Daggett screen. Gets double team, finds Daggett. Now Hughley down low in the post. Aiden Hughley going to work, gets fouled, and will go to the line. Shoot two. Yeah, and Hughley having himself a night so far, nine points for him, and he'll go to the charity stripe for the first time this evening. Yep, Hughley. A freshman from York, PA, at the York Suburban High School, played for the Trojans. And he knocks down that free throw. Now in double figures at 10 points. Hughley's second free throw rolls around the rim and through. So 11 points for the freshman, 44 26. 
Shippensburg leading Shepard inside the butcher center. Carter over to Hardy. Hardy gets double teamed, kicks it out to Johnson who drives in, finds Biss. Biss to Johnson in the corner. Had a wide open three but passed it up, attacks the basket. Shot is short and Sleva lays it up and in. Lead back out to 20 for Shippensburg. Kyle Dang it to the corner for Cam Stevens. Philip Jordan now. Jordan off the bounce. Resets. Swing to the Preston corner. Three. No good. Rebounded by Hardy and a foul call against the Raiders as Philip. Uh, I'm sorry, against the Rams. Carson Poffenberger along with Robinson checking in for Jordan and Daggett. This is the final home game of the regular season for the Shepherd Rams. They'll be back on the road on Saturday against Mansfield for the final game of the regular season. As a long pass up to Johnson with a two-handed slam. Wow, impressive there. And back to what you were talking about about the Rams' last home game. They'll, they'll definitely be road warriors in the PSAC tournament next week. Stevens. Over to Poffenberger. Poffenberger hands it off to Robinson. Over to Hughley. Stevens, a step back. Hughley now catches. He'll try a three. That's an air ball rebounded by Hardy. Hardy over to Carter. Now back to Biss. Carter pump fakes. Tries a long three. That's an air ball. Rebounded by Hughley underneath. 48-26, 16 minutes to go in the first half. Shippensburg leading Shepard. Stevens attacks the basket. Has it taken away. Biss now with it. Rams in a tough scoring night throughout this ball game. Carter over to Hardy. Now back to Carlos Carter. His three this time is short again. Hits the rim. Sleva trying to track it, track it down. Hits it off the knee of Cam Stevens and out of bounds. It will be Shippensburg basketball when we return with the under-16 media timeout. 48-26. Shippensburg leading Shepard. This is Shepard men's basketball on TV10. We're back in 30 seconds. Your business can become an advertiser today on Talk Radio WRNR and TV10, your home for local news, talk, and sports. With over 17 million views and counting, you won't want to miss out. From Eastern Panhandle Talk every morning to the sports mix at noon and local high school, Shepherd Rams, Mountaineers, Commanders, Steelers, Nationals, Wizards, or Capital Games each evening, Talk Radio WRNR has it all, all day long. So advertise with us, Talk Radio WRNR and TV10. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center. Shippensburg leading Shepard 48-26 with 15-46 to go in the contest. Nick Verzellini and Spencer Dupuy, happy to have you with us on TV10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Avery Newport, our intern, helping out on camera. And Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. You'll hear from Colin in the end one scoreboard show tomorrow on WRNR and TV 10 we will have more basketball for you uh, as it will be the sectional girls championship between Hedgesville and Spring Mills played at Spring Mills High School so looking forward to that one and then on Friday will be our seventh game of the week Spencer and it will be seventh sixth what? well we had seven right because we had seven, two games, you're right. yeah, we, we added, added a game. game. Yeah, we were going to do six games in five days, now we're doing seven games in five days. Yep. That's what it is. As it will be our seventh game of the week between Martinsburg and, uh, I can't think of their name. Wheeling Park. <laughs> Wheeling Park. I knew it started with a W, but it's blanked on it. Wheeling Park in a big battle tonight in Morgantown against the Mohegans. Yeah, that should be an interesting one. Carter with it over to Johnson. Sleva down low, left-handed shot, no good. Rebounded by Carson Poffenberger. Over to Cam Stevens, 48-26, 15-20 to play in the ball game. Stevens off the Hughley screen. Stevens to Poffenberger over to Preston corner three, no good. Rebounded by Johnson. Carlos Carter now Biss. 
to Carter. Rams in the zone defense. We only have three two. Something they didn't go to earlier really. And that has been effective for Shepard and Carter for three. Off the bank of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Carson Poffenberg. Stevens with the ball. 14 and a half minutes to go. Stevens bounce pass to Hughley down low. Hughley goes right through the defender and finishes through the contact. They'll roll it a block on Sleva and Hughley with the layup and now we'll go for the three-point play. And Hughley really having himself a night in the double figures now uh, with 11, could make it 12 here. 20-point ball game, Aiden Hughley has played well. A freshman, a guy to kind of look forward to as we talk, or as Coach Namalik talked about in the pregame interview. You know, Kyle Dangus done a great job helping him kind of come along this season as Hughley knocks down that free throw. 48-29, Chippensburg on top with 14 and a half minutes to go in the contest. This with the basketball over to Carlos Carter on the right wing. Carter back to Jake Biss. Back to Carter now. Down low to Johnson in the high post. Johnson dribbles to the corner. Tries to step through the defense, but it's taken away by Preston. Great steal by Preston. Stevens to Preston. Top of the key. Poffenberger wide open. Three. No good. Rebounded by Carter. Rams just can't hit from the perimeter at all in this game. Biss to Carter. Really, Schimmensberg's kind of gone cold, but Biss, he can't miss, and that continues even with Poffenberger in his face. Biss is... He could be the Pete Sack player of the year. Based on how he's played tonight and how he played in the first game against Shepard. And how he beat 36 the other night. But... Comes off the Hughley screen. Stevens a long three, and he answers. A nice shot of his own, 51-32. Stevens really needed that one. I believe his first points of the ball game. He's still got five now. Okay. Hardy now on the right wing. Hardy back to Biss. No look pass to Hardy. Johnson extra pass down low to Sleva. Sleva goes up and gets fouled. He'll head to the line with 13-0-1 remaining. 51-32. Don Sleva, a red shirt junior, six foot six. Checking out is Aiden Hughley, Kyle Dangit coming back in. It's been an off night for Daggett, a guy that's been getting 20 in almost every game for Shepard as of late, but Sleva knocking down the free throw. Yeah, I mean, if you're Shepard here, a 20-point ball game, you just want to execute the offense a little bit better and play better defensively. Try to target defensively. you, you got to target Biss. It's tough, though, when you got five guys that average on double figures. On the other side, Robinson with another three. That's back-to-back -back for the Rams. 52-35 with 12.38 to go. Double team on this as he crosses half court. Dangy gets the tip on the pass. Attempted four underneath. Cam Stevens now with the ball. Rams down 52-35. Stevens driving in. Dump it down to Daggett in the post who has the mismatch on Biss. Daggett going right at Biss and a foul called underneath. It will be on the floor. The Rams will inbound from the baseline. Biss called for the foul. Inbound to Daggett again. He'll hand it off to Stevens. Stevens attacks the paint. Nearly traveled. Fade away. Shot from Cam. Stevens is good. Great job by Stevens. They're now up to seven points tonight. So a little bit of mojo going for the Rams. A pair of threes and a fadeaway J. Great Good defense there, but it's going to go off of Preston, according to the near side official. We'll have the under-12 media timeout. 
Shippensburg, 52. Shepard's starting to cut into it a little bit at 37. See what they can do in these final 12 minutes when we come back. This is Shepard Rams basketball on TV 10. You've been in an accident. The choice of a lawyer may be the biggest decision you make for you and your family's future. At Mansion Ferretti, we offer a free consultation and no fees until we win your case. Call us today and protect your future. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Against Riverdale. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center. Shippensburg 52, Shepard 37, with just under 12 minutes to play in this second half. McVersley alongside me, Spencer Dupuis. Avery Newport on camera, and Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. Rams trying to cut into this lead. Three straight possessions with some points on the board. A Cam Stevens three. A Another three by Robinson. Or, no, Robinson hit the three, and then a drive in by Cam Stevens to make it 52 37. But it is Shippensburg possession, as that was a close play on the inbound, but it went to the Raiders. Biss with the basketball, working now to Carter over to Hardy, left wing. Hardy dribbles up to the top. Biss catches on the wing over to Carter again. Carter, another three for the laying, and that is perfect. Carter had airballed and came up short on his last two threes, but that one he drains to make it 55 37. Pick and roll with Daggett. Ball underneath. Tip to Daggett. Not a great decision by Hardy trying to throw it off of Daggett's legs, but Daggett secures the ball and lays it up and in 55 39. Yeah, great awareness there by Daggett to be able to grab the ball and not have it hit off of him and bounce off out of bounds. Good ball movement by the Raiders. Johnson to Hardy now working around to Carter. Biss on the wing, guarded by Preston. Johnson's three is short. Rebounded by Kyle Daggett. Daggett now with. Five boards tonight, three on the defensive end. Daggett catches at the top of the key, hands it off to Stevens, over to Preston. Preston down low to Daggett. Daggett trying to go to work in the post. Head fakes underneath, pump fakes, and lays it off the square and in. Daggett now at double digits with 11, coming alive of late. 14 point game. Shippensburg leading. Ham's cutting into the lead. Getting good offensive possessions. Carter. To Hardy, Biss drives baseline over to Carter. Now back to Biss for three. That's money. Can't Can't leave Jake Biss open. He continues to burn the Rams, 58-41. 28 points so far. Stevens over to Poffenberger. Robinson attacks. Robinson head fakes. Goes to work again with the left-handed layup. These were the shots the Rams were trying to get in that first half, but weren't able to finish. Shepard's starting to finish them, but still down 15 with 9.50 to go in the ball game. Carter over to Hardy. Now Biss catches. Back to Hardy. Extra pass Carter. Oh, he'll try a three. That's no good. And rebounded underneath by Sleva. Sleva can't put it up and in, but does get fouled. He'll go to the line. Dom Sleva going back to the charity stripe. 58-43, 9.35 to go in the contest. Shippensburg leading, and Sleva knocks down the free throw. Right when it seemed like Shepard was bring, building some momentum, uh, can't miss this, just... Took it all away. And it's tough when this second free throws up is good. It's tough when you're down double digits to try to trade some baskets. I mean, there were, was a little bit of a run by Shepard to make it a 14-point game, and then 
Shippensburg heating back up. Stevens three is no good. Rebounded by Carter. Head to Biss. Biss with 28 tonight. Finds Carter. Hope pump fake. Shippensburg working around the perimeter. Rams back in the man to man. Actually still in the zone. Looks like a 3 2 look. But a aggressive 3 2. And Biss's shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson triple teamed in the paint. And a foul called. Will go underneath. Hand on the back there. Called on Robinson. His second. Rams with their fifth personal. Raiders will inbound on the baseline as Philip Jordan coming in for John Preston. Best to inbound it. Gets it in to Carter. Carter to Johnson in the corner. Now back to Carter. He'll have it taken away by Philip Jordan. Jordan quickly in transition. Won't go one and three, one on three. He'll pull it out smartly. Daggett now attacks, or Poppenberger attacks, excuse me. Down a little Hughley. Hughley posted up. Pump fake. Head fake and good defense. Oh, just Underneath. off. Just off Hughley. A sleeva. 60-43, 8-33 remaining in the ball game. Carter back to Biss. Biss to Hardy, who will work it around the perimeter. Shimmonsburg, nice lob, pass to Johnson! Oh, man, with the one-handed dunk. That guy can fly. That's like his third dunk of the game, the second lob pass dunk. Now up to 15. My player to keep an eye out for. Him. At least for the highlights, you might have that one right. Yeah. And Jake Biss has kind of gone cold in the second half. Well, not really as aggressive, I guess. Philip Jordan with the shot in the lane good for the Rams, 62-45. I don't want to say he's gone cold. I just feel like he hasn't shot the ball nearly as much. Hardy over to Johnson. Corner three. I'm sorry, now it's Johnson in the corner, and Johnson knocks it down. 18 now for him. 65-45. 7.30 to go in the ball game. Philip Jordan off the Poffenberger screen. Poffenberger rips through, goes into the lane, kicks it out. Robinson three on the way. Good. They needed that. Shepard really needed that. 17-point game still at 65-48 as we approach the seven-minute mark. Carter to Hardy. now for Robinson. High post Johnson. Johnson nearly turns it over. Goes right to the rim. The left hand finishes over Hughley for the deuce. 67-48. Jordan. Now on the right wing. We're getting against Hardy. Jordan goes hard into the lane. Kicks it out to Robinson. Robinson with the floater, and that's good. Not 12. 17-point lead and a timeout called by Shippensburg. And with 6.34 remaining in the contest, it is Shippensburg 67, Shepard 50. Take another 30-second break and return with more Shepard men's basketball action on TV 10 after this break. A reputation for caring, a legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family-owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center on the campus of Shepherd University. Shippensburg 67, Shepherd 50, 634 to go in the contest. Nick Verzellini alongside me, Spencer Dupuy. Our final 10 minutes of the second half sponsors on TV 10 are Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, a family-owned full-service funeral home in Martinsburg, Inwood, and Charlestown Ranson, proudly serving the area since 1880. 
along with Ollie's VIP Northside. Ollie's is the best local spot to get sports or hang out with friends. Stop by 36 Veronica Drive in Martinsburg. Ollie's VIP will see you for the game. Shippensburg in possession now of the timeout. Our timeouts are brought to you by the Marius Group and Ameripods Financial Advisors, John Everson and Phil McCoy. Stop by 1270 Winchester Avenue or give them a call at 304-263-4343. Best with the basketball over to Johnson. Johnson to Sleva on the high post. Dribble handoff with Biss. Sleva now tries a long three. That is short and rebounded by Preston. Philip Jordan with the basketball. Final six minutes of the contest now. Cam Stevens off the Daggett screen. Pick and pop with Daggett on the left wing. Daggett now drives in. Daggett with the up and under, and that's good. Kyle Daggett gets the shot to go. 15-point ball game in favor of the Raiders. Hardy to Johnson. Now Biss in the Shepherd circle. Logo over to Johnson. Spin move in the lane. No good on the shot, but he gets fouled. He'll go to the line. 67-52, 5.25 to go. Carson Poffenberger called for the personal foul. And a timeout taken by Shippensburg. So we'll take another break with 525 remaining, 67-52. This is Shepherd Men's Basketball on TV10. We're back. Laura. Hey, Laura. What's with the sunglasses? Ouch. The word is spreading. Bechtel Jewelers is home to some dangerously brilliant diamonds. See the difference at Bechtel Jewelers in Inwood. Sunglasses, Sunglasses not, not included. included. We are back at the Butcher Center. Shepherdsburg 67, Shepherd 52. Here on TV 10 with about five, well exactly 525 remaining in this contest. Nick Verzellini alongside me, Spencer Dupuis. Avery Newport on camera, doing a great job for us, our intern, earning those hours as he works toward graduation and then grad school at the University of Maryland, as we found out earlier this week. Big congratulations to Avery. And Colin McLaughlin back in the studio. You'll hear from Colin on the N1 scoreboard show. Hopefully it'll be a happy Colin. Uh, but Why would Colin be angry? Because <laughs> WVU's only up two now. Well, I hope he wouldn't take it out on our listeners and just be... Our viewers. Well, yeah, viewers. You might just be listening, though, to the the one scoreboard. I don't know. But either way, I hope he didn't, wouldn't take it out on them and just be mad and not give a good scoreboard report. <laughs> but he could. I don't know. As uh, Johnson knocks down the free throw. Colin will be on the call tomorrow with Jim Klein for the sectional championship as both free throws good there by Johnson between Hedgesville and Martinsburg Get on Jim Klein basketball. back in the saddle. Philip Jordan dribbling with the left hand at the top of the key. Finds Preston. Now down low for Stevens. Philip Jordan off the screen. Three-pointer is short. Rebounded by the Raiders. Biss with the basketball now. Schoensburg 69, Shepard 52, 4.45 to go. Raiders moving in around the perimeter. Biss with the basketball, working against Kyle Daggett. 11 on 11. This pulls up fadeaway long two is no good as the shot clock nearly expired. Stevens ahead to Jordan. 
Jordan dribbling at the elbow. Attacks the basket, kicks it out to Robinson. Robinson trying to create separation. But great defense by Hardy. Jordan now with 10 on the shot clock. It's fouled on a three-pointer, and he'll go to the line. As we approach the final four minutes of the ball game, about 4.09 remaining in this one. 17-point lead for Shippensburg. We've got uh, the post-game awards coming up, Nick, and uh, don't have a lot to choose from in, in one category. Only one block in this ballgame tonight. It's me trying to speak into existence another one. We'll see. Phil Jordan can't get the free throw to go. Jordan's second free throw is up and no good as well. Jordan, a sophomore from Rockville, Maryland. And knocks down his third free throw. Well, his third shot, but first of the three to go through for Philip Jordan. So 69-53, the final four minutes now of the ball game. Shippensburg in command. Best dribbling with the basketball. As I mentioned, not a whole lot of bench players get action for Shippensburg, and these guys got to be well-conditioned. Play these full 40 minutes or yeah, pretty do. close to it. And a foul and the under four media timeout. Shippensburg, 69. Shepard, 53. 348 to go, and I think we might have had a technical. I wasn't certain there. It looked like... Shippensburg's coach was arguing with the official. He kind of pointed at him. And then it looked like maybe Shepard was coming back on the court to shoot the tentacle, but I could just be completely wrong here. I don't know. We'll keep you here. 3.48 to go. 69.53. Maybe he was just pointing at him for the timeout and he just wanted to argue something. I wasn't really certain. Yeah, I wasn't certain either. Definitely weird, but I'm assuming it's just a timeout. Yeah, that looks to be the case. But 348 remaining, and Shippensburg leading by 16. As we mentioned, the Rams' final home game of the regular season. And the women's team getting the win earlier today. 79-73. Now 21-6 on the season, 15-6 in the PSAC. If you missed that game and wanted to see it, you can always watch it Archive. on our YouTube channel. And it does look like John Preston might be going on the line to shoot a technical foul. Out of this timeout. But it says it got, gave a technical to 44 Hardy. Okay, it was on Hardy. Wasn't sure if it was on the coach or what. Maybe that's why the coach was arguing. He's like, hey, what did he give the technical for? Well, yeah, Hardy's played 27 minutes tonight. Preston will go to the line. He'll shoot the technical fouls. Technical foul shots. 69-53. Shippensburg leading Shepard. Preston to the charity stripe. First one is off the bank of the rim. Second free throw from Preston is good. So 69-54, 348 now the possession going back to Shippensburg as they had called the timeout before the technical. So inbound it to Biss. Biss right to the rim. Lane opens up. He can't. He's kind of stumbling and couldn't finish the layup. Stevens back the other way for the Rams. Dang it down low. Double team didn't matter. Still got the finish high off the glass and through. 69-56. Shepard has cut it down to 13 with 3 3.20 to go. Daggett now with 15 tonight to lead the way for the Rams. Takes over possession of points leader from Hewley. 
foul called on Cam Stevens. One of three seniors playing their final home game inside the Butcher Center. Senior night was the other night for the men's team. Uh, victory for the Rams. As uh, Kyle Daggett, the other one, along with Noah Wimbush. Hardy to the line. That's good on both. 71 56 now. Shippensburg on top of about three minutes to go. Robinson in the corner. Robinson kicks it out to Jordan. Over to Cam Stevens. Now Preston with it on the or er, in the corner. Robinson, nice pump fake. He'll attack the basket. Kick it out to Preston for three. That is short. Stevens comes flying in for the rebound over to Jordan now for three, and that's good. Philip Jordan knocks it down. Into double figures now at 10. 71-59. The ball up off the floor and inbound it back for Shippensburg. Biss with the basketball. Jake Biss, the grad student. Picks up the foul on Preston. I'm sorry, on uh, Cam Stevens. That's the second. 71 59, 225 to go. This is free throw, is no good. Rebounded by Kyle Daggett. Daggett ahead to Jordan. Philip Jordan now back to Daggett at the top of the key. Daggett hands it off to Jordan, who drives it with the left hand. Underneath to Daggett. Daggett goes up strong and finishes again. Kyle Daggett's been great in the second half. Don't look now, but it is just a 10-point game at 71-61 with 2.09 to go in the contest. Let's take a 30-second break. This is Shepard men's basketball on TV 10. Your business can become an advertiser today on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10, your home for local news, talk, and sports. With over 17 million views and counting, you won't want to miss out. From Eastern Panhandle Talk every morning to the sports mix at noon and local high school, Shepherd Rams, Mountaineers, Commanders, Steelers, Nationals, Wizards, or Capital Games each evening, Talk Radio WRNR has it all, all day long. So advertise with us, Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. We welcome you back to the Butcher Center, 71-61, to 61, Shippensburg leading, but Shepard has continued to fight back throughout the second half, and now has gotten it down to just a 10-point ball game. Two minutes to go, it's not likely, but you have a little bit of a chance a here, chance. a little bit of life if you're Shepard. This unit has played particularly well for the Rams. Johnson catches off the inbound over to Biss. Biss, double team in the backcourt. Ahead to Johnson now on the right wing. He draws the Kyle Daggett foul. How much longer are you going to foul if you're the Rams? Let's see. I guess it depends on what happens on the offensive end. When I mean, you, you foul him after this time, you can try to trade you're going double. threes for twos. Go to the double bonus. Good point. One and one here for Johnson. Takes the first. Johnson's second free throw is good as well. As a team, Shippensburg shoots 68% from the line. Jordan with the basketball. Jordan. Driving in, taking a lot of time off the clock. It gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Minute 43 to go. 12-point game at 73-61. Phillip Jordan to the line to shoot two. Jordan's first free throw. 
It's good. So 73-62, 143 to go in the contest. And the second one is no good. And a foul called against Shepard. So now Shippensburg will shoot two. Daggett picking up his third personal. 73-62. Sleva going to the line, shooting two, knocks down the first. So that makes it a 13-point game. And the second one. It's no good. Cam Stevens with the basketball over to Preston. Preston to Daggett for three. That shot blocked. Got maybe what you asked for there, Spencer. Johnson a block there on Kyle Daggett. And another foul against the Rams. I believe it should be 75-62. No, they got 74 on both ends, so maybe yep. I'm just miscalculating. It's a late night, Nick. Could be. Maybe. I don't know. Second free, or first free throw is good. Now it's 75. Yeah, there we go, 75. 131 to go in the game. Kyle Daggett checking out. Gets a nice cheer from the crowd still here. Second one is no good. Hughley chasing down the rebound over to Phillip Jordan. The way Colin just texted us, he, he may take it out on the listeners. I was hoping he wouldn't. Cam Stevens to Preston. Pump, pumping is Preston to the line with the finish and the foul. Good stuff by John Preston. Let's see one. Poffenberger for Stevens. Again, both of those guys, seniors, probably playing, well, are playing their final home games inside the Butcher Center. Preston converts on the end one attempt. 75-65, 112 to go. Pass ahead to Johnson. Johnson crosses half court. Looks like Shepard's just going to play pressure defense. Hope for turnovers, but not necessarily a foul, knowing you had a 10-point game with a pretty good free-throw shooting team. It's just not very likely to make this kind of comeback. As nearly taken away by Preston, now the foul called with 50 seconds. Carter going to the line. I mean, credit to Shepard coming out in the second half and trying to, to keep within, you know, it was a 22-23 point ball yeah. game at one point. Now... It's going to be probably mid-teens if they continue to foul. 76-65, 50 seconds to go. It has been a good effort by the Rams, a much better second half. Just nothing can go down for the Rams in the first half. And in the second half, pretty competitive. 77-65, now the score. Philip Jordan with the ball. Jordan. Working against Hardy. Jordan attacks, spins, lays it up, no good on the and one, but he'll get fouled and go to the line again. You can tell Shippensburg kind of frustrated with getting these fouls. They don't obviously need the foul, just play good defense without fouling. And while it is a 12 point game, that's something you want to work on because you can get into the tournament and stuff. If the game's closer in this type of situation with 36 seconds, you don't need to foul. Just play good, solid defense. And again, this is giving Shepard an opportunity, even though, again, it's very unlikely for the comeback. They can get points for the free throws. And obviously, Jordan missing that free throw, and Shepard hasn't really done a great job from the line tonight. 77-65. Second one is no good as well. Rebounded by Carter. Carter ahead to Johnson now. Johnson lays it up and in. 
79-65. Ball goes out of bounds and rolls to the back of the bleachers. To the front of the bleachers, I should say. Carson Poffenberger will inbound it into Phillip Jordan. Final 23 seconds. Jordan with the basketball. Over to Hughley. Hughley, the freshman for three. It's an air ball. Preston trying to keep it alive. Bounced it off of Biss and did keep it Shepard possession. But just 12 seconds of the game down by 14. Jordan inbounds to Hughley. Back to Phillip Jordan. Eight seconds. Jordan for three. No good. Tipped out. Robinson chases it down. His last second heave is an air ball. But much better second half for the Shepard Rams, but Shippensburg pretty much controlled this game throughout and win by double digits tonight. 79-65 over the Shepard Rams. We will take a two-minute break. On the other side of that break, we'll have the Palace Lounge postgame show. This is Shepard Rams men's basketball on TV Tech. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. A reputation for caring. A legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family-owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg has a brand new list of daily specials. Monday, stop on in for burger night or enjoy a nice juicy steak every Tuesday and Wednesday. The Palace Lounge also offers freshly steamed shrimp Thursdays and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Sunday is all day breakfast and there are drink specials daily too. So come enjoy the Palace Lounge. You can find them on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard. We welcome you back to Shepherd University inside the Butcher Center. Shippensburg 79, Shepherd 65, your final. The Rams falling now to 12 and 15 on the season. While Shippensburg improves to 18 and 8. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuy. On the Palace Lounge postgame show, the Palace Lounge is located on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg with a full lunch and dinner menu with daily specials and a clean, comfortable atmosphere. Check out the menu on the Palace Lounge Facebook page. We'll recap the scoring for you. We'll start with the Rams. Philip Jordan with 11 points tonight. John Preston with 4. Kyle Daggett with 17 to lead. Shepard Aiden Hughley with 14. Cam Stevens with 7. And Robinson with 12. And then for Shippensburg, uh, Johnson with 27. Carter with 12. 10 for Sleva. Sleva also had 15 boards. Yeah. I mean, those guys, double-double. We're all over it. So a double-double for him. And then Biss finishes with 28 after 22 in the first half, but not nearly as aggressive in that second half for him. Hardy finishes with two. And Shippensburg once again getting the win, 79-65 over the Shepherd Rams. So that was your game stats brought to you by Bechtel Jewelers, West Virginia's largest Pandora retailer located on Route 11 South Inwood, taking care of you like nobody's business. 
All right, Spencer, let's get to the awards portion of the Palace Lounge postgame show. Let's start with the moment of the game brought to you by Parsons Ford. What do you got? I don't, I don't know. I mean, this game was very, very hard to have a moment because it, there really wasn't much of a moment prior to the beginning of the ball game. But I just want to give the moment of the game to that it, just because it was an amazing shot. The one uh, Biss made over there, can't miss Biss, right over there with a the guy in his face. The three. All right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, really any of his threes could, or any of his jumpers, really. I mean, fadeaways from all over the place with defenders in his face. So that goes to Biss. That is your moment of the game. Brought to you by Parsons Ford, located at 1400 Shepherdstown Road and online at ParsonsFordMartinsburg.com. They became number one by making you number one first. And Spencer... The Cody's Bonnie Shop rejection of the game. We didn't get a ton of them, but I think we got two you got total. one at the end. We got you two liked, total, right? total rejections, which I even, they didn't even calculate it. They didn't even call it a rejection. <laughs> According to the game stats, they didn't call it a rejection, but it's Johnson on Daggett with about one and a half minutes left. And that's your rejection of the game brought to you by Cody's Bonnie Shop, located at 851 Wilson Street in Martinsburg, family owned, offering superior customer service and great pricing for a job done by experienced certified technicians their phone number is 304-901-4777 or visit their facebook page and then finally spencer the west virginia medicine player of the game what do you got i don't i don't even know <laughs> it's kind of a tale of two halves it's between a, players of the game tale of two halves yeah exactly uh but you know what i'm gonna give it to the guy that i said to keep a lookout for Ten of sixteen from the field, two of four from beyond the arc. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to give it to Biss. Six of nine from beyond the arc. If if they didn't have his performance from beyond the arc, it would be a lot closer of a game and potentially could be a Shepherd win. Yeah, it could have gone either way there, but Jink Biss receiving. Well, I'm not going to do the old uh, Berkeley and Jefferson for you. All right, I appreciate it. The player of the game going to Jake Biss. Grand student from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. The Shippensburg. 28. Native. Or the Shippensburg player. <laughs> Not a native. Latrobe native. Yep, I said that. Also, shout out to Chip Ransom for getting us stats tonight, the SID here at Shepard. Yep, Chip does a great job. Big thanks to him for providing us with the area to broadcast and also the statistics. But your player of the game is brought to you by WV Medicine, Berkeley, and Jefferson Medical Center's leading health care here. And everywhere so that will do it pretty much for our portion of the broadcast your final score once again shippensburg 79 shepherd 65 the rams falling to 12 and 15 8 and 13 in the psac and shippensburg improves to 18 and 8 and 15 and 6 in the psac for colin mclaughlin avery newport you'll hear from colin and spencer dupuis i'm nick verzellini saying so on from the butcher center we'll have more basketball tomorrow of the girls sectional championship game between Hedgesville and Martinsburg. Stay tuned. Colin McLaughlin is next with the Anne one scoreboard show. Enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone. A reputation for caring. A legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family-owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Are you considering selling your home and don't know where to start? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market and he's proven it as number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. 
Phone Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams at 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. Hi, my name's Corey, and I'm here at Orsini's in beautiful Martinsburg, West Virginia. We no longer specialize in only appliances. We have kitchen design, countertops, cabinets, flooring, and even a new 1,200 square foot sleep studio with brands such as Stearns and Foster, Sealy, and Tempur-Pedic. 304-267-7251, 360 Heck Wilson Way in Martinsburg. We price match the big box stores, and we give back to our local community. Orsini's.com. Welcome into your and one post game scoreboard show brought to you by Home Helpers Home Care of Martinsburg, serving the tri state area, giving care the way you want to be cared for. Learn more by calling 304 433 8000. Final score for the men's basketball game in our doubleheader tonight Shippensburg 79, Shepherd 65. So the Rams fall. It was a uh, tough game. Shippensburg just really shot the ball well. Uh, Johnson finished with 27 points. Biss finished with 28 points. When you got two guys like that that you have to go up against, it's uh, very tough to get a win. Shepard now falls to 12 and 14 overall, 8 and 12 in the P-Stack. Shippensburg improves to 17 and 8 overall, 14 and 6 in the P-Stack. Some high school scores before I go into more PSAC scores from around this area. Musselman beat Lincoln today 56-43. to And also seeing on Twitter that Jefferson remains undefeated. They got a 65-51 win against Spring Mills. Jaden Gladney had 18 points. Cam Johnson had 14 points. Deion Taylor had 12. Wyatt Shively had 9. The Cougars now 19-0. And look to become 20 and 0 to, or excuse me, Friday at 7:30 when they take on Broadfording Christian Academy. Very impressive season for the Jefferson Cougars. They seem like the team to beat in the Mountain State Quad A classification. Let's now look at your Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference scores. Final score. East Strasburg gets the win over Mansfield, 116-97. to Also a final score, an upset, number 17, Mercyhurst goes down against Cal U. Cal U gets the win, 79-76. Final score, 86-68, cuts down, beats Bloomsburg. 92-80, Millersville beats Westchester. Pitt Johnstown beats Seton Hill 74 57. A good road win for Pitt Johnstown. Final score Slippery Rock gets the win at home 79 72 over Edinburgh. And 81 65 IUP beats Clarion. Your women scores again in case you missed it. Westchester beats Millersville 73 53. Edinburgh beats Slippery Rock 77-65. Pitt Johnstown beats Seton Hill 70-63. The game that we had, Shepard on Senior Day beats Shippensburg 79-73. East Stroudsburg beats Lock Haven 59-56 in overtime. Cutstown beats Bloomsburg 64-43. IUP destroys Clarion 92-41. Cal U beats Mercyhurst 75-53. 54. That's your women's scores in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Let's now, unfortunately, look at the West Virginia Mountaineers. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. I, I know that Nick and uh, Spencer, if you were tuning in, said that I was going to probably have a hard time throw a rant, but I've given up on this team. Uh, they lose 84-81, had an 81-79 lead with about 10 seconds to go and passed an inbounds that got deflected right into the hands of an Iowa State player. They were able to lay it in and eventually go on to win that game. So the Mountaineers now losing 12 out of the past 13 games. And let's just uh, 
end this season early if we can for this Mountaineers men's basketball program. On the women's side, though, they're currently winning 59-47 against Texas Tech with 6.22 to go in the fourth quarter. Hopefully they don't blow that like the uh, men's team just did. Some NCAA men's basketball top 25 games going on right now. I'll give you the final scores first. Number 20, Texas wins and comes back after being down at half against TCU, 75-66. Number 7, Duke hangs on to survive against Virginia, 65-61. Tied up in the first half with 4.30 to go. It's number 13, Wisconsin against Minnesota. They're locked up at 28 apiece. LSU currently leads number 6, Kentucky. Kentucky at home down by now nine points. It's 25-16. Number three, Auburn leads Ole Miss at halftime, 43-31. Tulane trying to uh, keep up with number 14, Houston, but Houston has a 10-point lead now with 7.46 to go in the second half. And Xavier on the road right now, taking number 11, Providence, into overtime. And Xavier is in the lead 74-70 to with 2.15 to go. That's the team that I'm cheering for now as my sister goes there, giving up on WVU, so hopefully Xavier can get the win and uh, make it into the March Madness tournament because, let's be honest, West Virginia's not going to now. So that's going to wrap things up here on the Home Helpers and One Scoreboard Show. I'm Colin McLaughlin signing off. Hope you enjoyed both Shepherd games today. Tune in tomorrow to the Sports Mix every weekday on Talk Radio WRNR, which is 106.5 FM, 7.40 AM, our TV10 channel on Comcast, as well as our TV10 Facebook page, where we'll recap today's games preview tomorrow's sectional championships for high school girls basketball and more that's every weekday from noon to one and then we'll also have the section one championship tomorrow on tv 10 and wrnr tv only it will be spring mills hosting hedgesville for the sectional championship 6 30 pregame 7 p.m tip i'll be on the call alongside me will be jim klein until tomorrow have a good night everyone That concludes today's action of Division II college basketball featuring the Shepherd University Rams. The contest was brought to you by Smallwood and Small Insurance Group. Contact them today at 304-263-3361. Chris Ross of the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Contact them today at callchrisross.com. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. Contact them at suttonandjanelle.com or visit their offices at 224 West King Street in Martinsburg. Orsini's Home Store, not just an appliance store any longer. They're at 360 Hack Wilson Way in Martinsburg or go to Orsini's.com. The Marius Group of Financial Advisors, call them at 304-263-4343. The Palace Lounge off Edwin Miller Boulevard, go to their Facebook page for their full menu. And the Mansion for Eddie Law Firm, go to WVJusticeLawyers.com. This has been a WRNR and TV10 broadcast.